Apple has finally unveiled its highly anticipated new iPhone XS of 5.8-inch device CEO Tim Cook says, is by far the most advanced iPhone we have ever created. The firm revealed the device alongside the iPhone XS Max, which boasts a staggering 6.5-inch Super Retina display the biggest iPhone display yet. Both, Apple says, are more waterproof than their predecessor, the iPhone X. Apple's newest phones are equipped with faster processors and better memory capacities than ever before, relying on Apple's new A12 Bionic chip. According to Apple's Phil Schiller, the XS handset is the most beautiful iPhone we've ever made. CEO Tim Cook took to the stage in front of around 1,000 people at the Steve Jobs Theater at Apple's new spaceship HQ in Cupertino, California shortly after 10 a. MPDT, 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Things certainly do get hectic around here leading up to days like this, Cook said, to applause, as he kicked off the event. But they're also magical days. As you know, Apple was founded to make the computer more personal, he said. The CEO started off the product announcements with what he says are two of our most personal products, beginning with the latest Apple Watch. In the new Series 4 Apple Watch, everything has been redesigned and re-engineered, said Chief Operating Officer Jeff Williams. We've pushed the screen right to the edges, over 30% larger, with minimal changes. The Series 4 is actually thinner, Williams said. Not only has the firm overhauled its design, but the new Apple Watch can even look out for its wearer's safety. According to Apple, the watch can detect falls and send alerts to emergency contacts. And in what's said to be an industry first, it's equipped with an FDA approved electrical heart sensor that can take an electrocardiogram. It's a feature we hope you never need, but it's really nice to know it's there, Williams said of the new fall detecting tool. The Series 4 watch is equipped with an accelerometer and gyroscope to power all day activity tracking. It features a new screen design that displays up to eight separate pieces of information, according to the firm. You'll even be able to add pictures of your contacts to make calls with a single tap. The firm also redesigned its watch faces to suit the bigger display, Williams said, and the digital crown has been overhauled to provide haptic feedback to the wearer. The watch speaker is also 50% louder than previous models. The Series 4 watch has three new heart features, including notifications for low heart rate and screening for irregularities that appear to be atrial fibrillation. It also has a built-in electrical heart sensor that will allow users to take an electrocardiogram. ECG. Apple's newest iPhones look a lot like the iPhone X, which the firm released last year. But, they feature an array of improvements. Like the iPhone X, the XS and XS Max have dual 12-megapixel rear cameras and a dual 7-megapixel selfie camera. Both are loaded with Apple's new A12 Bionic chip, which Apple claims runs run 15% faster than the A11 chip in the iPhone X. And, they'll have much better storage capacity. The iPhone XS and iPhone XS Max are shipping in 64GB, 256GB or 512GB the largest and built storage ever shipped on an Apple-branded smartphone. The iPhone X was the first Apple-branded handset to ditch the circular home button and rely on facial recognition technology to unlock the device. It was the first mass-market smartphone to demand a $1,000, £999, starting price. The success of the iPhone X has allowed Apple to up the ante with an updated larger model of the handset, whose price is expected to be unveiled today. Apple also is expected to release an updated iPhone XS with minor updates, including a faster processor and better cameras. A third iPhone model made of cheaper materials with colorful cases, boasting a 6.1 inch LCD screen, and known as the iPhone XR, is also widely tipped to launch. This iPhone XR, which will be similar to the iPhone 5C, is expected to sell for $650 to $750, 500 pounds to 600 pounds, according to analysts. The entry-level phone also is expected to lose the home button. Price cuts for older models, with the home button, are also likely. The rumored handset names the iPhone XS, XS Max, and XR were discovered in a hidden file that maps the contents of Apple site. The S suffix is something Apple has used in previous years to denote a handset with the same industrial design as its predecessor, but performance-focused updates inside the phone. The iPhone XS Max will feature a larger 6.5-inch screen. 
All new iPhones will include the new A12 Bionic chip and iOS 12. Leaked images claiming to show the final design of the device appear to show a new gold finish for the updated smartphone range. Apple doesn't have to prove anything other than that they are willing to segment the market more, Technalysis Research Chief Analyst Bob O'Donnell said, while pointing out that the company will likely be offering a wider array of choices. According to the latest rumors, the two OLED models will hit stores on September 21, 2018, while the cheaper LCD screen phone could be delayed until October. URLs discovered in the official Apple Cinema, a directory of all the web pages on a website designed to keep search engines informed of the latest changes, has revealed the storage capacities of the new handsets. These are listed alongside the iPhone XS, iPhone XS Max and iPhone XR names. According to the leaks, the iPhone XR will be available in either 64GB, 128GB or 256GB models. The iPhone XS and iPhone XS Max will instead ship in 64GB, 256GB or 512GB, the largest and built storage ever shipped on an Apple-branded smartphone. The official Cinemap leak also reveals the colors of each model. As expected, the iPhone XS will ship in gold as well as the black and silver designs launched last year with the iPhone X. However, the iPhone XR will be available in six different finishes, including black, white, red, yellow, coral, and blue.